Hey guys, welcome back. Times are pretty bad right now. I'm almost at 40,000 subscribers. Definitely hit subscribe. Keep up with my content while you're staying inside and keeping everybody safe. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at the top 10 Android apps of April for 2020. So let's go into it. Just wanna point out today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. Okay, first app up on the list is Volume Styles. This is a great app if you wanna change the user interface, the way it looks whenever you press the volume keys. There's quite a few different options you can choose from, all the way from Samsung One UI, right over to iOS, including OnePlus and other Android versions of the skin. All of these do appear on the left or right side of the device. And you can actually choose in the settings which side it appears on. I personally like it on the right side just because it's nearer the volume rocker, which is on the S20 Ultra, is on the right side. You can also add additional buttons like do not disturb. And you can also add the option to open settings, split screen, take a screenshot, and many more. You can go even further if you buy the pro version. You can actually go ahead and change the colors, more of the shape, size, and all of that good stuff. But you can change the timeout period, the vertical position, and you can even make it dim the background whenever you push the key. The next app is called LED Me Now. And for anyone with a hole punch cutout, you can actually go ahead and place a ring around the cutout, which symbolizes a notification light. In the settings, you can show a preview, change the color, choose when the light displays, how you dismiss it, the interval time, and it has various different options depending on your device. But if you wanna go even further, you can go ahead and customize the actual shape of it, as well as the color and the position. It's definitely a great app. It also has the option to show you when your device is charging with a little animation. It doesn't quite work on mine because it's got the hole punch, but you could position it in a different location. Up next is Super Status Bar. This one allows you to apply gestures to the top of your device. So you can go ahead and click, long hold, or swipe across the top in order to do various actions. I've got it set right now so that when you swipe left to right, it actually increases the media volume, but you can go ahead in the settings and change that to brightness or ringtone volume. Also, if you get the pro version, you can have the slider automatically change. So if you're watching a video, it will change the media volume, but if you're not doing anything, it will change the brightness. There's also the option to overlay a custom status bar at the top, and it's a great way of making your device a little bit more stock, especially if you don't like that Samsung overlay. Other than that, you can apply things like double tap, long press, or single tap, which can allow you to do things like turning off the screen or taking a screenshot. Definitely a neat app to have, and it applies some extra functionality without obstructing or cluttering your device. There is definitely more options you can find in here, as well as a battery bar, which goes ahead and places a battery percentage across the top in the form of a bar, but definitely go check it out for more. It's a great app. And now for today's sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a great VPN, which you can use for all your devices. It has a version for Windows, Mac, iOS, as well as Android. They have many servers which you can pick from all over the world in different countries. It's really fast and easy to connect. Before I connected, I actually did a speed test and I got 46.2 download. But then when connecting to the VPN through New York, I actually got a faster speed of 51.16. I found that really impressive that I got faster speeds while using the VPN. And something really awesome is that it allows you to bypass geo restrictions. So if you're using the VPN through another country, you can access that country's geo-locked content, for example, on Netflix or YouTube. There's an inbuilt whitelister so you can allow apps on your phone to not use the VPN. And if the VPN connection drops out, there's an emergency fail safe, which will disconnect your internet, protecting and also being very secure about your content. And one of the best things is they actually have a 30 day money back guarantee, which means if you're not happy with the service, you can get your money back. There's no logs kept, no tracking. And with the code MattRob, you can actually get 83% discount. You can actually get it for £1.59 a month, or if you're in the US, $1.99. That's a pretty cheap price for all the features that you get from Surfshark, and I would highly recommend it. This one allows you to pick various actions that you do with your volume rocker in order to activate different tasks. So I've got it set so a double press of the up key will actually go ahead and turn on the flashlight, and repeating the process will turn it off. One thing to note that these actions will actually only work when no media volume is playing on the device, and you can go ahead and apply different actions depending on whether you are playing media, or if you're recording sound. You can pretty much turn anything on or off, and unfortunately, you can only set two actions until you get the premium version. However, I feel personally like two actions is definitely enough. It does bring some great functionality. And again, 
reduces clutter, which is pretty much the aim of my apps this month. Now, up next is Miniism for KWGT. Many of you guys have asked me what the widget is on my home screen that actually says the date and the month. Basically, I got it in this pack and I just went ahead and changed the text from the month to my name. Just adding a little bit of a personal twist, I think it looks great on my home screen and overall is a superb widget for telling me the date. In order to apply this, you will need to download KWGT and the pro version. But if you're willing to do that, this is a great extension. Okay, so now next up is Gesture Plus. This is also a gesture based app, but it is geared towards the bottom of your device rather than the top in the last app. And it's for people who primarily use gestures on your device. This will go ahead and place a single tap gesture at the bottom over where you usually swipe up and you can assign that to different tasks. You can choose a standard system task as well as a lock screen task. I've got it set right now so a single press pulls down the notification center, but you can also enable one for your lock screen which could potentially open the camera with a single press. There's a lot of options to choose from, but if you can't reach the top of your device, this is super handy just to be able to push and it pulls down your notification center. It doesn't intrude with any other gestures on your device and you can use everything just as normal. And I personally think it's a really simple but great app to have on your device. Just to show on the lock screen, if I tap at the bottom there, brings on my camera really quick. So this can improve your device functionality by a whole lot. Up next is Chala Neon. This is kind of a strange name for an app, but it has some pretty cool functionality. It's a photo editor. You can go ahead and import a photo that you want. It will apply this neon text over the top and you can choose from different types of text. You can change the brightness, the color, the flashing duration, you can go ahead and change the text and you can go ahead and resize, reposition, add filters onto your photo, change the vignetting. And it's pretty cool if you want to spice up a photo for Instagram or whatever you want. Up next is Steno. This is one of my best note apps of the month. I've been using this for a while now and I must say that it is great at categorizing your notes. On the home screen, it's got these categories at the top here, but you can add more. And this acts as a folder, allows you to quickly access your notes for a specific topic. And this is super good for filtering out things that aren't important right now. You can go ahead and create a new note. You can assign it a title, a description, and also you can add a hashtag, which is actually what creates this folder or groups things together. So right there, I just made one called 34. And now I can go ahead and sort all of my notes by the hashtag 34. This is a super minimalistic notes app. I absolutely love it. It reminds me of a Google type app and you can go ahead and change the theme from light to dark. Now this is my wallpaper app of the month and I know that it is titled Note 10 Wallpapers, but considering the S20 and S20 Ultra now have a hole punch in the middle, these wallpaper apps now work on my device. And I found this one has some really great wallpapers for AMOLED screens. They fit perfectly around the hole punch cutout, even though it's a tiny bit smaller than on the Note 10. But overall, I'm really loving it. There is some ads inside, but it's really easy to apply and they look super high quality and crispy. And obviously it covers up that hole punch cutout. You do have the option to apply it for your home screen, lock screen, all screens, or you can go ahead and download it. There's lots of free ones to choose from, but there also is some premium ones. If you want to go that step further, definitely go check it out. And last up on the list is Cyberflex TV. Now I'm not encouraging you guys to go ahead and download this. But if you do want an app in order to stream videos or movies, just for if you want to check out if something's good before you purchase it or anything like that, but there is a whole range to choose from. There's a lot of series. You can even choose Netflix and Hulu. It allows you to quickly cast to your Chromecast or local casting device. You can also go into movie mode, which has some of the latest movies that are currently in cinema. It even has 4K options to choose from. And one of my favorite things is that you can go ahead and choose your default video player. You can also choose what services you want to pull the videos from and you can filter out cam versions of the videos so you don't have to watch garbage quality content and you can change your default play action so you can make them automatically download rather than play. There's lots of functionality for how the app works and all the different categories and the layout, but overall it's a great app that's currently not in the Play Store, but you can pick up the APK down below in the link in the description. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it. That's my top apps. Definitely don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Surfshark, and pick up a subscription for their VPN. Remember the code MattRob currently gives you 83% off, so definitely go check it out. Anyway guys, peace out, 
I'll see you later. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in.